In this video, I'm gonna give you a tour around the Meta Ads Manager system because when you start, it's hard to find everything you need and you simply won't know where lots of the hidden features are that are available to you. And it's these features that are gonna make your life so much easier. So if you spare me a few minutes, I will spare you a lifetime of frustration with this platform. So hyperlinks are available in the description section. So if you want to know where something specific is, click on the hyperlink to find out so you don't have to sit through the whole video. I know you like spending time with me, but I also know you're busy. So I'll show you where to create all of your audiences, where you manage your data and your pixels, how to access your billing and invoices, how to customize your columns, where to adjust data ranges, how to find all of your reporting, where to go to manage your access and your permissions, how to access help with Meta and much, much more. Let's dive into the laptop. So this is the Meta Ad system. This is a client account. We're gonna anonymize this as best as we can just to show you around. At the top left here, this is where you will select all of your various ad accounts. You can see that obviously as an agency, we manage quite a few. And at the top right here, this is where you can adjust your date ranges. And you can do that on a customizable level. So you might wanna just see you know, what performance has been on a specific day. And it's got some quick things here. Maximum is just gonna show you for the whole length of the ad account all of the data and then you can do last month this month last week this week etc etc so you can refine that exactly as you need to okay so here you have some tabs where you can just go and you can see all of your different ad sets and then all of your specific ads and at the top here you can then refine it based on what you like so you might want to refine it based on high priority to low priority you might want to refine it based on delivery so the ones delivering an active at the top and the rest down from there. So if I select back to the campaign level here, importantly, when you scroll right to the right hand side here, this little hidden plus sign is how you're gonna be able to customize exactly what you want to see in your columns. So the performance data that you wanna see across here. So if I click, click here on add other columns, that will open up this feature here. It is broken down here. So you might want to have some data around your clicks and it will give you all the options that you can around your clicks there. But it also has this search feature. So if you want to know about frequency, just type in FRE and then you can select your frequency. And if you select apply then, then what you will find is your ad frequency will then appear here. Similarly, you might want to understand about your purchases that you've been achieving. You might wanna know the total amount of purchases, the value of your purchases, your cost per purchase, and you might also want your return on ad spend as well. So you can apply that, and again, you will notice that all of this starts getting reflected across the top. So you can see here that this client has made, what's that, 178 purchases in February so far with a value of 15,000 pounds, and the return on ad spend is averaging out at 4.43, and that's a good point because it will total everything down here for you, but that isn't always that clear because particularly when you're looking at your results, this client's relatively simple, but you can see here that some campaigns have optimized for add to cart and reach, etc. So it's not always gonna total up that effectively for you. Next up, if you scroll across to the left-hand side here, it will give you some hyperlinks that will show you around. So obviously you can go to your reporting section, your account overview, your audiences, billing and payment. This will look a little bit different for everybody because it will default to a certain settings for you. And as you use the platform more, the system will recognize what you're using more frequently and it will auto populate that for you. But if you select these all tools, that's gonna show you everything that you have available to you. Importantly, the events manager. That's what we're gonna go into now. So we'll select that. And this is what you will look at first of all. So this is the overview section. You have all of your various data sources on the right hand side there. You can see that that is showing us two pixels because this client has two different websites. We've got a different pixel on each website because we want to understand what each website is doing individually rather than collectively. And you can click into a specific pixel and you can see here that it's just moved me down to this data sources section here. Up here, you can have, this is where you can do your test events. So you can check that your tracking is working and there's a video on that that you can go and see exactly how to do that. You can have a look at your settings, the history. So if you've made any particular changes to your pixel, because you might have two or three people all with access to your pixel, something might have happened. This is where you're gonna be able to see who has made what changes to your data sets. You've got your diagnostics. So if anything is going wrong or any updates, that's where you're gonna see that information. 
but you've got your overview there. Active integrations, it's showing one active integration and that is the pixel. The reality is on this account, we actually have two active integrations. It's just the conversion API integration that we have, which is the server side tracking, which you can see there in the, uh, the sort of light blue color. That is done by Stape. So Stape is an off site, off Facebook conversion API solution. Again, we've got a great video about that that can show you exactly how to do it. But down here, we have all of the events that we're tracking. Now this is an e-commerce client. So we have view content, view category. So when people are looking at specific categories, add to cart, initiate checkout and purchase. Some of these are gonna be automated, automatically generated and others we have set up in particular. And we do have a video that is around event tracking. So if you wanna learn exactly how to do that and how to do your test events, just dig into the videos on my channel. That will show you exactly how, but this is just a tour. This is custom conversions. So we haven't got any set up for this client, but there might be occasions where you have specific um, custom conversions that you want to measure. So this might be things like uh, you want to measure if somebody has viewed a certain proportion of a video or clicked on a certain button or stayed on your website for a certain period of time, you can create those custom conversions and this is be where you do it. And then importantly, you have your partner integrations. This is where you're going to link your pixel and your tracking up. So you can see exactly here, this is linked up with WooCommerce with Google Tag Manager and Conversion API. But this is where you would link it up with things like Shopify and all of the other different integrations that you have, like HubSpot is another, is another common one. If you can link your pixel with direct integrations, it's always gonna work better and perform better than if you do it through other methods such as hard coding, etc. Next up, we'll have a look at audiences. So you can see audiences is here on the left. It will also be often up in this top section here for you, but with this client, it's there. So this is where you manage all of the different audiences that you will have available across the Meta platform. So you can see here that we've got everybody who's purchased a product within 180 days, users who've added to cart within the last 30 days. Now that's an important audience because it means that somebody who's added to cart but not purchased, we can refine our audience targeting down in the ads platform. But this is where you manage it all. And if you wanna start creating audiences, again, we have videos about creating custom audiences, lookalike audiences and audience targeting in general on the channel, so do go and check those out. Okay, so next I'll show you where the billing section is, where you control all your payment methods and you get your invoicing out, etc. So you'll find it here, again, if you come to All Tools, it will be in uh, this list somewhere, but here we have a hyperlink, so we can come down here and select that, and it shows us where all of the invoices are. And over here, if you click that, that will download it for you, and that's nice and straightforward. But again, if you're not finding some of the invoices, it's probably just because you haven't expanded the date range enough. So just expand that date range out, and then the other invoices will appear for you eventually. There you go. So all the invoices will then appear down there. So you have your payment methods, your credit lines, and you've got an invoices section. So you can go and drag out all your invoices because if you're working for a bigger company, they're going to want those invoices because they're gonna to need to tie it up for tax purposes. Okay, down here then, if you're ever in any need to get help with your Meta Advertising account, there is this little help section there. And if you select that, it'll open up this panel on the right. I do have a video again that shows how you can contact Meta support so you can speak to a human that is actually behind Meta and get some of the answers to your questions and get some help moving things forward. Um, you can hear some of the chats that we've been running in my agency. It's normally to do with disabled or restricted assets, but this is where you can chat to your Meta Marketing Pro. Uh, you can request a call. What I will stress is this section will look different to you depending on what part of the world you're in and how much money you've spent on your account because we are an agency and we're managing millions of pounds worth of ad spend. We have really ready access. Some of you won't, but if you're based in somewhere that's outside of the West, so you're based in, for example, Indonesia, this might not be available. If you're based in India or Pakistan, again, this might not be available, but if you use a VPN and you set your location to the United Kingdom or the United States, this should become available if you do it between office hours, UK or US time. So there's a little 
little hack there for you. Finally, if you have a bug in the system, this sometimes happens, Facebook can be very, very buggy, you can just report the problem there and you can follow that system along. To get back to that campaign view, all you're gonna do is click on campaigns there. That will restore this mode. Now, importantly, up here, you have where you can organize your columns, compare attribution settings. Now that is really important. If you wanna see how many people have converted from your ads based on one day click, based on seven day click, based on 28 day click, this is where you do it, or one day view. And what that means is, if somebody has clicked on your ad and within 24 hours they have converted, if you select that, that will open up a column which will show you how many people converted within 24 hours. And if you click this, that will show you how many people converted within seven days and again, for 28 days. Now that's important because it will show you the speed of which somebody is transacting. Are people clicking on your ad, bouncing off to do a load of competitive analysis and research, or are they simply going straight through and making a purchase immediately? So that's really important to compare, compare those attribution settings. Another interesting one here is you can break your performance down by day, age, placement, country, platform, and you've got all of these options down here, um, down here as well for you. So you can really break it down to understand what age demographics your ads are really performing to, what geographies, what time zones, etc. can really help you refine some data. And then you have reports. This is where you would create custom reports. We are going to get a video up where we fully take people through exactly how to do that. It's quite well, it's a little bit complicated if you're new to it, but this is just to show you where that is. So dive in there and take a look. But this bit is really interesting. View ad creative performance. And this is where you can see what images, videos, copy variations are working the best to achieve the results that you have set the system. And if you come down here and you selected text, for example, or headlines, or what website URLs, you can then say, you know, highest to lowest, which image, for example, so we can see here that this is a catalog ad, which we've just released a video about how to do those. This is where it's showing us that the catalog ads are performing the best and it's achieving, well certainly in February, the most purchases for this client. And we can do that for text as well. So if I select text here, that will then show us which copy variation is performing the best. And it will do that in order because this allows you to engage in that mode of continual improvement. So then there is the settings section. This is where you manage all of the access. So if you wanna grant somebody access, you wanna grant an agency access, you wanna manage your various assets, you just need to come down here to this little cog and go into your business settings. You'll probably also find it, there we go, there it is up there. So you will find things in various different places. There is so much to this platform, but if you come into all tools, between that and business settings, you're gonna find whatever you need. Okay, so in here, this is the business settings section. This is where you can see all the people in your organization that have access to the Meta platform. You can see all the partners that you're actively working with. Obviously, we've got lots and lots in there because like I said, we're an agency. You can see the different systems users. So in there, we just have a conversion API system user. All the pages you manage, all the ad accounts you manage, all your asset groups, etc. Commerce accounts, Instagram, WhatsApp. Everything should be linked under here in this business settings section. So all the assets that you have, all your WhatsApp accounts, Instagram, Facebook pages, ad accounts, all your data sets, which is essentially your pixels, this will all be manageable under here. All of your product catalogs, all your custom conversions, audiences, etc. It goes on and on and on. And then if you want specific ad account settings, you can click on that. It will open up a new window and you can go into your ad account settings and start working through that. Okay, so I think that is pretty much everything as a whistle-stop tour to really help beginners to the platform navigate their way around. It's not that complicated once you start diving in and anything you need realistically is going to be within this all tools section. Now, if there's anything that you want to know, that you want to see, that hasn't been covered in this video, just drop it into the comment section and I can take you through it. I can explain, we always respond within 24 hours, either me or one of the team, and we can help you with whatever problems you're facing. So I hope that helps. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.